Welcome back to Afro Page. This is where you can stay informed about the latest and most interesting news happening globally. Tune in with us on the thrilling adventure as Ibrahim Traoré collaborates with engineers from Iran to build a brand new city in Ouagadougou. President Ibrahim Traoré of Burkina Faso is addressing insecurity and establishing the AES Alliance, focusing on infrastructure development and selecting the right experts for large-scale projects. He has chosen to collaborate with Iran, a strategic move to distance himself from Western influence and explore new avenues for development. This move sets Burkina Faso apart from the traditional reliance on Western experts, diversifying expertise sources and opening up opportunities for mutual growth and collaboration. The decision to partner with Iran reflects a forward-thinking approach that prioritizes sustainable development and equitable partnerships. President Traor is focused on creating a new narrative for Burkina Faso, built on innovation, inclusivity, and strategic alliances that benefit the country and its people in the long run. The recent partnership between Burkina Faso and Iran marks a significant shift in the development projects within the African country. Instead of relying on traditional partners like French companies, President Traor has decided to collaborate with Iran to utilize their advanced technology in building crucial infrastructures. This move is not only a strategic decision, but also a testament to the growing relationship between the two nations. The visit of the Iranian Minister of Cooperative Labor and Social Welfare, Seyed Solat Mortazavi, to Burkina Faso underscores the commitment to this new partnership, especially in areas related to construction, engineering, farming, and hospitality work. With Iran's expertise in various sectors, including infrastructure development, Burkina Faso stands to benefit greatly from this collaboration. The infrastructures that are set to be developed through this partnership encompass a wide range of projects, such as bridges, buildings, and farming technology. By leveraging Iranian technology, Burkina Faso aims to enhance the living standards of its people and boost economic growth. This decision also highlights Burkina Faso's willingness to diversify its partnerships and explore new opportunities for mutual benefit, despite the challenges faced by Iran due to sanctions imposed by the West. Overall, this new deal between Burkina Faso and Iran signifies a promising future for both countries as they embark on a journey towards sustainable development and prosperity. Despite facing sanctions, Iran has continued to show resilience and determination in pursuing technological advancements. The country's spirit remains strong and they have not allowed external pressures to hinder their progress. One of the main reasons for the sanctions imposed on Iran was their alleged development of nuclear weapons. However, Iran's technological innovations and architectural marvels have proven that they are capable of much more than just military advancements. Burkina Faso's decision to partner with Iran in purchasing military equipment showcases a shift in alliances that could prove beneficial for both countries. The Iranian minister's visit to Burkina Faso to discuss economic cooperation highlights the importance of strengthening ties between the two nations. The Joint Commission for Economic Cooperation between Burkina Faso and Iran has resulted in a memorandum of understanding that will guide future collaborations in various sectors such as education, training, housing, environment, health, and energy. This partnership is seen as a significant step towards enhancing relations and fostering mutual growth and development between Iran and Burkina Faso. Iran is actively seeking to establish mutually beneficial relationships with African countries, emphasizing the importance of exchanging resources and capabilities for the betterment of both parties. During the second Iran-African International Conference, the Prime Minister of Burkina Faso engaged in discussions with the late President of Iran, Ibrahim Raisi, to explore avenues for cooperation in various sectors. President Raisi highlighted Iran's commitment to prioritizing the development of relations with the African continent, underscoring the mutual interests shared by both Iran and Burkina Faso. President Raisi stressed the need to expedite the implementation of mechanisms that would enhance collaboration between Iran and Burkina Faso, such as activating the Joint Commission of Iran and Burkina Faso. He also commended Iran's significant progress in sectors like mining, agriculture, oil, energy, and science and technology, showcasing the country's potential for contributing to the advancement of African nations. President Raisi expressed Iran's readiness to engage with African countries, including Burkina Faso, in sharing expertise and fostering cooperation for mutual growth and development. The Prime Minister of Burkina Faso reciprocate the sentiment by acknowledging Iran's rich cultural heritage 
and expressing a keen interest in strengthening ties with the country. He denounced the negative portrayal of Iran by Western media, emphasizing Iran's status as an independent, developing, and advanced nation. The Prime Minister of Burkina Faso highlighted the importance of dispelling misconceptions about Iran and fostering collaborations in various fields to leverage Iran's expertise and contribute to the progress of both nations. This exchange between Iran and Burkina Faso signifies a commitment to building robust partnerships based on mutual respect and shared goals for development and prosperity. Burkina Faso is just one of the countries that Iran has been actively seeking to establish relations with in recent times. Even before the passing of former Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi, Iran had shown a strong commitment to building partnerships with African nations. One of the main motivations behind Iran's interest in Africa is to enhance trade relations and potentially find ways to navigate around sanctions imposed by the U.S. Racy's visit to three African countries in mid-July last year was seen as a significant step towards strengthening ties with the continent. This visit marked a new chapter in Iran's relations with Africa, especially since it was the first visit by an Iranian president since Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's trip in 2013. Racy has made it a priority to reset relations with Africa, a move that sets him apart from his predecessor Hassan Rouhani, who focused more on nuclear negotiations with the U.S. and other global powers. While countries like Saudi Arabia and the UAE had already established connections with Africa, Iran had been somewhat left behind. The visit to East Africa was aimed at boosting trade and commercial partnerships, signaling Iran's eagerness to engage more actively with the continent. President Raisi expressed his intentions to forge new partnerships in order to counter the increasing economic and diplomatic pressures faced by Iran from the United States and Europe. Notably, Zimbabwe, along with other governments and organizations, has been under U.S. sanctions due to allegations of human rights violations, corruption, and election-related violence, while Kenya has managed to avoid such sanctions for some time. Recently, Ugandan officials were sanctioned due to their anti-homosexuality legislation, further fueling resentment towards the sanctions in Iran and the countries visited by Raisi, creating a sense of solidarity during his visit. The sanctions imposed on Iran and the three African nations he visited are just one aspect of their interconnectedness. These countries also found common ground in their stance on the Russia-Ukraine conflict, with Iran providing material support to Russia. Notably, both Uganda and Zimbabwe chose to abstain from the crucial UN General Assembly vote in March 2022 that aimed to condemn the Russian invasion, showcasing a shared perspective among these nations. Kenya's president, William Ruto, may have aligned with NATO leaders, but he still warmly welcomed Racy to his country, emphasizing the similarities between the tensions in the North and South and the deteriorating relations between the West and China during his stop in Uganda. Racy also highlighted another area of alignment between the two countries, particularly regarding social issues, such as Uganda's stance on homosexuality, which has garnered widespread Western criticism. Raisi publicly supported Uganda's legislation prescribing the death penalty for aggravated homosexuality, which drew condemnation from the West. After meeting with Susan Rice, Raisi emphasized the need for cooperation between Iran and Uganda in the face of strong attacks by the West against traditional family values and the culture of nations. In addition to addressing social issues, the visit also aimed to establish new partnerships and seek practical outcomes. Iranian leaders and their East African counterparts were keen on exploring areas of cooperation beyond the political realm. This was evident in Rice's trip to three Latin American countries with whom the United States has strained or hostile relations, indicating a broader scope for collaboration and mutual benefit. The visit underscored the potential for Iran and Uganda to work together on various fronts, including social, political, and economic matters in the face of external pressures and challenges. Raisi and the Iranian delegation accompanying him were eager to establish economic connections that would assist Turkey in mitigating the impact of Western sanctions ahead of their visit. Iran's foreign ministry has publicly projected that trade with all African nations will surpass $2 billion by 2023. Raisi specifically highlighted Africa's mineral wealth and Iran's expertise in petrochemicals as potential foundations for expanded economic collaboration. The acceptance of Iran's visit by African nations signals a shift away from exclusive reliance on the West as a partner for the continent. 
This shift provides Africa with a wider array of options for partnerships, including trade, military cooperation, and technology, which were previously limited by the West. Africa's increasing agency in choosing its partners signifies a significant shift in global power dynamics. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave a comment in the comment section below.